her. It was beautiful to start the day. I don't yeah. know if we were all, I wasn't up early enough to see it, but we got some great shots. Beautiful Portland sunrise. As we continue through the day, temperatures didn't warm much. It was definitely chilly to start the day. Our afternoon highs, temperatures only got to the upper 40s for Portland as well as in Vancouver. 49 for Astoria, a high of 37 in Hood River and 39 degrees for Redmond. Current temperatures haven't cooled a lot in Portland. We have a little bit more cloud cover tonight, not as cold as the last several nights. Currently 44 degrees for Vancouver, upper 30s for the Dallas, 29 degrees in Redmond, and 43 out towards Tillamook. Now your weather headlines for tonight, cloudy skies, mainly dry, but breezy conditions overnight. The strongest winds remain through this evening, through tomorrow morning. Our next system arrives starting at the morning hours at the coast, midday for the Portland metro area. That's the start of our next rainy, wet pattern. We are looking at the potential for freezing rain, Upper Hood River Valley area, Parkdale, Odell, that's where we can see the problems. I'll go into more detail with that in just a few minutes. Wet and cool pattern, though, all the way through Friday. Let's talk about the wind starting off, gusting around 32 miles per hour in Corbett, 26 miles per hour in Washougal. You can tell by these colors here, strong winds continue to come out of the gorge, cooling those temperatures, still pretty breezy through Milwaukee, PDX, all the way out towards Lake Oswego, 21 mile per hour gusts there, about 15 miles per hour in Newburgh. So expect that to continue. Continue tonight. We do have that wind advisory that continues through 7 o'clock tomorrow, including Vancouver, down to Oregon City, out to Hillsborough. We can see gusts between 35 to even 50 miles per hour. Winds around the rest of the state, a little breezy towards Lincoln City, not too bad. Salem and Albany, and out towards Ben and Redmond, below 10 miles per hour. Here is the next system we're watching. The low pressure system will continue to move closer to our area. You can spin it off here. That front moving in, bringing those main showers tomorrow morning to the coast. We are just picking up a little bit of rain. I don't think it's actually making it to the ground. No observations within the last hour along the coast with these showers being reported. So mainly dry conditions, maybe a few sprinkles up in the mountains. Cloudy for tonight as we continue late tonight, early tomorrow morning. We start to see the showers moving closer, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock out along the coast midday for the Portland area heavy at times and then we start to see the rain moving in later as those temperatures drops. That's when we could start to see a mix of rain and snow up in those higher elevations near the Hood River and the showers do continue through Thursday. Now I do want to talk about this. We do already have a winter weather advisory put into effect starting at noon tomorrow through 4 a.m. Thursday for Odell up to Parkdale. So this area between Hood River and Mount Hood for a wintry mix, some snow one to three inches and less than a quarter of an inch of ice. So this is the area where we could see the freezing rain, not expecting it to impact I-84 or actually the Hood River area. So rain continues Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a little bit of a break for Saturday. We could see some dry time, but for tonight, still dry, cool temperatures right around 40 degrees. Wind chill factor will definitely be an issue to start the morning, feeling more like 36 with those gusty winds throughout the day forecast for the next seven days. A little bit cooler for Wednesday, mid 50s Thursday, Friday, a little dry time for Saturday, and then the rain starts again. Man, it was cold this morning. It really know? was beautiful. Yeah. But chilly. chilly. Yeah, I had yeah. to put a scarf and some gloves on at the dog yeah. park even. Yeah. Stay with